Hello, everyone. Happy Tuesday, you guys. It's my live night. I'm back. Look at this. I'm still drinking coffee in one of my most favorite mugs. Um, don't ask me why. It's actually um, a latte I made for myself, but sometimes at like four in the afternoon, I just want a little latte and it's delicious. So that's what I'm drinking right now. You guys have a super delicious recipe I'm going to show you in the quick cooker because what else would I be using? I am so, so, so in love with this product right now. Um, I have a couple of parties to get us shared into very quickly, and then we are going to get going. This is literally like a one-pot meal, um, and it's done super fast. Love it so much, and I'm excited to share it with you guys because there are a couple of ways to make it like extra fun. So we are going into Sarah's party right now, if I can spell correctly. So once you guys jump on, let me know that you're here. If you have any questions, let me know that as well. So Sarah, we are in your party. Next, we are gonna get into Kim's. You guys, if you are watching this later also and you have any questions, um, it's just like any other like video or post on Facebook. So you guys can go ahead and just leave your questions in the comments and then I'll get a notification. I'll be able to get back to you guys later on, okay? Um, so Kim, we are in yours. And then I'm also helping a new consultant with her launch party right now. Um, and we want to make sure that her guests are able to see everything as well. So we are going to get shared into Katie's party. Yay. All right. We're in you guys. Um, so again, we are doing quick cooker salsa chicken lettuce wraps. Um, this will be the second time I'm going to pop you guys up in my food holder or my phone holder. Um, this will be the second time you guys are way up to, cause I want you to be able to see everything. So this will be the second time that we've done this recipe. Um, first time we did it because obviously it just looked really delicious. Um, I also wanted to do it again tonight because I'm going to be doing it at a bridal shower later this week, um, a Pamper Chef bridal shower. And I wanted to, you know, do a little run through on it again, but it's so quick and easy. I know you guys will love it. So take a look at what I have out here, okay? The only thing that I actually had to do ahead of time, you guys, was I prepped my chicken breast, okay? So those of you who know me, you guys know that I buy, um, you know, bone-in skin on chicken breast because it's so much cheaper, um, and then I can use my scraps for stock, right? So the other thing I did was I rinsed my radishes really quickly, and then I just gave a quick rinse to the outside of my romaine lettuce before I put it on my cutting board because I'm really, like, grossed out by like fruits and veggies that aren't washed okay so um, basically all we need to do is put everything into our quick cooker which you guys is right here for those of you who haven't seen it yet I'll give you guys a little close-up on it so you can take a check take a look all right you guys so this is our quick cooker you'll be able to see it in action here shortly um, again, I know I said this right away, but I am like super obsessed with this thing right now. Um, literally three of the recipes that we are doing this week are going to be done in this. Um, and everything comes out like as a, um, or I mean, everything's cooked like as a one pot meal. So there's less cleanup for you and you really do get passive cooking time while you are cooking with it. So you have all kinds of spare time. Um, like me, I'm gonna prep my veggies and the rest of our toppings for our uh, wraps while this is cooking. Hey, Jesse, we're doing um, salsa chicken lettuce wraps. And I'm actually just gonna leave this off for now. So you guys know me, I can't always follow a recipe to a T. Um, so basically we're supposed to just put everything into the quick cooker. But what I'm gonna do, because I wanna get a little color on my chicken first, I am going to turn it on to sear. You guys, this quick cooker has 16 different cooking um, settings, which is awesome. And this dial right here is all you do to turn it. So what I'm gonna do is hit sear. Um, again, I wanna get a little bit of color on our chicken before we add everything else in, because I know that's gonna give it just a little bit more flavor. So I'm gonna add a little bit of oil in here my oil container needs to be filled. Jesse, do you got something going in your quick cooker right now? I bet you do. 
I bet you do. I'm gonna use my old knife, I guess, because my other chef's knife is in the wash. So um, again, you guys, chicken's going in. I'm gonna prep the rest of my veggies that I didn't prep yesterday to go on top, which we're gonna do um, the romaine here. Um, we are gonna be putting salsa and a jalapeno and garlic and then onions into our quick cooker with our chicken and then um, the salsa as you can you guys can see here um, it kind of worked out perfectly for salsa I already had some homemade pico so that's what I'm gonna add into our pot and that's all gonna cook together it's gonna be so delicious so this thing I can feel just by putting my hand in there is warming up already now you guys don't have to worry it's super safe like it's not hot to the touch on the outside and even as it is cooking you guys it is not hot to the touch on the outside I'm a garlic press garlic press knives scrapers and my simple slicer those are like the tools that are always in our dish rack drying because we use them almost every single meal so garlic press I can hear my oil starting to sizzle so I'm gonna drop this in um, you guys, if you are looking at our quick cooker, a couple of other tools I will tell you guys that are super helpful to have um, are a long pair of tongs like this one. Um, our flexible cutting mats are super great because if you are prepping, especially like a bunch of veggies, you know, you can just pick up your cutting mat and just, you know, bend it and drop it right into the quick cooker, which is super convenient. And then, um, what else? I mean, that would primarily be it, I guess. But in this, obviously, I don't want to use afterwards since it's still dirty or it has raw chicken on it. So it's said to season the chicken with our Southwestern seasoning mix, um, which is a Pampered Chef seasoning. I actually don't have any right now, so I'm just going to do my own little seasoning. You guys know me. I got to have salt and pepper. Salt and pepper on everything. Um, we really like these flavors, so what I'm going to add is um, some of the taco seasoning mix that I make. Of course, we like spice, so I'm going to add some cayenne. And this is the taco seasoning mix. I just put it in another empty um, seasoning container, and then that way, obviously, it still sprinkles out really nicely. And then um, we just really like the flavor of cumin also. Um, even though there's some in our taco seasoning mix, I'm just going to add a little bit extra in. Ooh, Jesse's making mac and cheese pizza for supper. Oh my gosh. Can you explain that to me, please? Mac and cheese pizza. That sounds amazing. So, my chicken is telling me it's not ready to be lifted yet. Because it's getting a really nice sear on the bottom. But the best that I can, I'm going to mix that up and stir it all together so the seasoning gets all over. And again, everything's going to cook together anyway, so it's all going to cook in here. So something else that I love about this thing is that um, I mentioned it earlier, but it is the passive cooking, okay? Um, right now, again, I'm choosing to, to use this sear just to get a little added flavor into our chicken. Um, but honestly, once both of those sides sear off, I am going to just add everything else in like the recipe says to do and then I have free time on my hands okay so if you guys have a pressure cooker um, you know whatever style or brand um, you guys know that it's it's like a set it and forget it right so you can literally put whatever you're cooking inside of it like a crock pot right which this thing has a crock pot setting which is awesome so it's multiple, multiple tools in one. Um, but then you can walk away and, you know, go do your laundry or wash your dishes or anything like that. So that is another reason why I love it so much. Um, we do, I mean, we could always do better, of course, but for the most part, just for the two of us, I'm going to cut that little end off. Um, we do a pretty good job, like meal planning for the week now. And so I find that normally we don't have a lot of prep time left. Um, and this I could have done last night when I dumped, when I did the rest of my prep work. But I wanted to, ooh, radish down. I wanted to leave it to show it to you guys how, you know, again, you have that passive cooking time. You don't have to be standing over your stove or your frying pan, um, you know, stirring stuff around and making sure it doesn't burn, okay? 
Oh baby, this is smelling good already. Yum. All right, now this is a six quart capacity. I hit cancel, so my sear turned off. <coughs> Give my hands a quick rinse. Now, as far as prep work goes, again, I basically have everything done here, okay? Um, I know I need to put a cup of salsa in, so this is literally going right in the pot. Obviously, if it was just on sear, and you're adding liquid, you know, just be careful because it could um, bubble up since it is so hot. I think I'm just going to dump all of it in close enough to a cup for me. Obviously, you know, use a measuring cup if you're not sure. And that's perfect. Then that's one less container in my fridge. So I'm kind of getting rid of some leftovers. At the same time that we'll be adding some more leftovers to the fridge with these leftovers. Oh yeah, and my onions. So that's the other thing, you guys. We always um, chop up, you know, onions and peppers because we use them so often. So I already have a ton of jalapenos and onions cut up here, which I did last night with the rest of the prep work that I did for the week. So I'm gonna add in a couple handfuls. I gotta kind of dig down to get my peppers, which those are all peppers from our little patio garden. And this is fun too because you guys can customize it. Um, you can do like a taco bar and that's what we're gonna do on Thursday, which I think is so fun. So you guys can customize it as much as you want with your toppings. Um, you could honestly even do like, you know, different seasonings and flavors, which is great. Um, obviously you guys can see we have um, romaine. Um, I know my husband, cause he's a huge flour tortilla fan. He is gonna be using his flour tortillas. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, to eat his wrap with. Um, romaine is really nice because it's nice and sturdy, so you can literally eat right on there. Um, butter lettuce is what the recipe calls for. Hey, Callie, how are you? Um, butter lettuce is what the recipe calls for, and obviously that is a little bit easier to, um, I mean, you could kind of use it like as a bowl, so that's really easy to use as a lettuce wrap. Um, I mean, I like tortilla chips or corn tortillas, so you could put out a whole assortment and do a little taco bar for all of your guests. So the last thing I need, which I'm gonna grab here, my husband left empty, is some garlic. <coughs> so a little tip, you guys, on garlic. If you buy fresh, which you should, um, you want your garlic to be white and tight, okay? You see how it's all like together at the top there? Um, I always think of my dad's underwear, which I know I've said that before and it like, you know, brings me back to high school. I'm like, oh my gosh, dad. Um, of course, you know, back then it was so much more embarrassing. So we really like garlic also. So I'm going to just rip off a couple of bulbs and don't worry about taking the skin off. I know our garlic press is one item that I feel like a lot of people know about, which is awesome because it really is like such a time saver and honestly you know a little bit of a, a stress saver also so i'm gonna pop my garlic in and my little cleaning brush is still in my dish pan so we'll just use that see and then the skin comes right off like magic you guys the little cleaning brush that does come with it it fits perfectly into these little holes and the prongs down here. So if your skin doesn't happen to come out, just like mine did on the press, then you can use that to get it out, okay? So I'm gonna do three cloves of garlic. Again, that is totally, you know, optional. That's the nice part about cooking. You guys can customize, customize your recipes however you would like them, because you don't have to be quite as precise as baking. Ooh, that was a big one. I got lots of garlic out of there. All right, give my hands a quick rinse again. <clears throat> Ooh, cheese is the other thing I was thinking about too. You're easily able to add some different cheeses, which Cotija cheese would be super delicious. 
Um, we are using some Monterey Jack, which again, we already um, prepped last night. So we have shredded cheese already for our taco bar. Okay, um, and that's it, you guys. So in my pot, I have our chicken that was seasoned. I have onions, jalapenos, and then I also have our salsa um, and our garlic. So that's it. Um, it doesn't look very pretty right now, but I'll show you guys anyway. We're good, Callie. <coughs> Ooh, flash. Okay, so here it is. Everything's in the pot. Obviously, my chicken is not cooked yet because it's all going to cook together, okay? Now, with our quick cooker, you hear that? Isn't that cute? With our quick cooker, you guys, you get a um, quick cooker guide that comes with it. So it is going to give you directions. It's going to give you different timing for um, the recipes. It is going to give you timing for everything. So I just checked the recipe again. It tells me to put it on the chicken and poultry setting, okay? Again, there are 16 different settings on this thing. So all I'm going to do is turn the dial to the chicken and poultry. Now, if you are using a recipe in your quick cooker or in your pressure cooker um, that is not um, Pampered Chef, you guys, um, with our quick cooker, you can customize the time and the pressure settings so that you are able to cook different recipes that are non-Pampered Chef in this as well, okay? So it says just turn to chicken and poultry and hit start, okay? That's all you have to do, you guys. Now, let me give you another look here. If you guys have seen my videos on this before, it's the same thing, but for those of you that are new and joining us, once you hit start, these little lines are just gonna go around in a continuous circle, okay? So what that means is that it's coming up to pressure, all right? So it will come up to pressure. Um, each of the settings has a little bit of a different, here's all the settings here. Um, each of the settings has a little bit of a different time on how long it takes to come to pressure because obviously some of them are going to be a higher pressure than others. Um, so it will come to pressure and then once this little guy stops moving around, you guys, it is going to um, show a time, okay? That's going to be the actual cook time. So your time will start and it will go down in numerical order until it hits zero. Um, another really great feature with this one is that once it hits zero and it is finished cooking, it is going to go to a keep warm setting. And it'll little, literally tell you on the screen that it is keeping warm. And then there will be a number on there again. As it is keeping warm, it is going to go up in numer numerical value, which is telling you how long it has been on the keep warm setting for. So you guys can put something in here if you need to run out. Um, like last week on my video, you guys, while it was cooking, I literally went to the post office and I washed all of my dishes and then I prepped everything else that we were going to need for supper that night that wasn't done. Um, and this baby cooked and it stayed warm for a half hour until I was ready to um, pull everything out and eat. So super wonderful. Um, I'm going to let this thing do its magic and I'm going to jump back on live again and I'm going to show you guys um, what this looks like when you release the steam and then um, I'll show you a couple of other um, safety features as well. Okay. And then of course, in the meantime too, I'm going to give another rinse to my lettuce and my radishes. I'm going to get this ready and then I'm actually going to use my um, cool and serve tray. Um, this is what I like to use for taco bars if stuff's going to be out for a little bit longer, which here it will be because my husband's not going to be home for a little while. So instead of using multiple small containers, um, I'm going to take out my cooling insert. I'm going to put it in here and then I'm going to lay out, you know, our radish slices and everything else in here. And then obviously this can store in the fridge as well. So um, I'm going to get everything else ready because again, I don't have to man my stove because my little guy over here is doing all my cooking for me. So um, if you guys have questions when you're watching this again, leave them in the comments and I'll jump back on and I'll show you guys what this looks like when it comes all together, okay?